Tucked away in the Shenandoah Valley, Harrisonburg, Virginia, home to James Madison, father of the Constitution, and mother of some of the most electric crowds in all of college football when they come out to support the Dukes. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake, as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Florida Gators, taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the James Madison Dukes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Gators will boot it away to start the game. Here he comes from inside his own five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. The Gators' offense will get the first possession of the game. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. Look, you want to make the quarterback feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. That was so close, but just a tad late. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. The give to the running back from the shotgun. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Here comes the offense on second down. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. That's a great job executing up front by the defense. They looked like they were ready for that play, and that was a bit of a more unconventional look from the offense on third down, but the defense was there to make a big stop. The Gators will punt it away on fourth down. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And that ball will sail into the end zone for a touchback. The Dukes offense has the ball for the first time. A first down for the offense. From the gun, running back gets the give. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. The Dukes come to the line in the hurry up. They'll try the run. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Morris. Throws to the back. The quick out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. You see it so much in college football where they motion a running back out of the backfield. What are they looking for? Man coverage. Are you trying to cover my running back with one of your linebackers? If you are, I'm going to take advantage. I love taking advantage of the mismatch with your running back out in space. Keep doing that. Touch pass on the jet sweep. 
They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Man, this guy is exciting to watch. When he has the ball in his hands, he can make magic happen. They're going to throw it to him. They're going to hand it off to him. They're going to get him the ball in a variety of ways, and they're doing it early in this game. No huddle offense to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Dukes are on the move. The give from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Leaves it with the running back. Discards a man. And they swarm him under. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. Trying to wear down this defense, a seventh play of the drive, it's third and one. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Bully ball on third and short. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Yeah, and I just need a crease. I need you offensive linemen just like right here. Great job holding the point of attack. Don't let any penetration come in. Give me a little sliver, and then you see the running back, Palmer. He'll do the rest, lower his shoulder, and make sure he gets the first down. Yeah, it means a lot to this offense, too, to have a guy like this that always just seems to fall forward. He always, in these short yarded situations, knows where that first down marker is, and he's able to get those hidden yards in piles, driving his legs to help keep this drive alive. The Dukes racing to the line in the hurry up. From the gun, running back on the move. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Movement here from the tight end. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. It's great awareness by the running back, understanding where the first down marker is and doing whatever it takes to get it. And the Dukes getting set on first and ten. They go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. The give to the back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. This drive started about the time Walter Camp invented football, but the defense can finally get a stop on third and long. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And the Gators fail to stop them on third down again. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep, 
Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Fast motion from the offense. Here's the handoff. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. The Dukes want to move quickly. Looking for space. It's Russell. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the air, it's Morris. Makes the catch! So close to that end zone, he could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback getting rid of the football, getting the first down, now set up first and goal. They'll run it. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison. I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. you got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Well, that was about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The give to the back. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. They'll go to the ground. The Gators get the first down. This guy's got a lot of tools in his toolbox toting the rock, man. He showed you right there. And when I think back to Florida running backs, Emmett Smith, all-time great. But a guy I played with in Gainesville, Fred Taylor. He was so big but so fast for a guy his size. He just caused so many problems for the defenses we face. And I think in the SEC today, you have got to be able to run the football if you're going to win games. And this guy right here, he's going to give the Gators a chance. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The handoff to Johnson. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You, got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Running back searching for a hole. At the 45 on his way. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. 
and that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, the inside give. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Motion from the offense. They'll try to hit the sideline on the jet sweep. Oh, what a move. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. Guys, it's James Madison on top as we've come to the end of the quarter. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They've switched into the field and we're ready to get things started here in the second. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? They'll give it to Johnson. They'll give him maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw, it's Mertz. Gets it out quickly. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. It'll be a run on third and short. And the Gators brought to the ground, but not before, picking up the first. Yeah, and it's so nice. Don't overthink it, right? Just hand it off, get the first down, new set of downs, let's go. The Gators will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Looking to move it through the air. He makes a grab! And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now listen, the defense won that play. As an offense here, the key, David, you can't go back-to-back -back negative plays. You got to be smart with the football here. Looks like you're going to have to throw it. You just can't force it. You got to make sure you're playing with that clock in your head. You can't take a sack. And I think this is a situation where I spread you out. I get more speed on the field. I make the defense declare. I see what they're in, but I'm definitely throwing the football. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. This is a really big play for both teams. Fourth and goal from the two. The give. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida! And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. Ready to try the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. Dropping back, it's Morris. Going to take a shot. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Yeah, and I love taking deep shots. I, I think it makes cornerbacks play on us, safeties play on us. And you could tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. Looking for room, it's Russell. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try and have a big completion here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Dukes will send out the punt unit. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Gators sending the offense back to work. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Keep it on the ground. On the move at the 30. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. I'll tell you what, a few more runs like that, and defensively you start thinking, more guys in the box, more big guys. I better stop this guy because he's unbelievable. Just a great job breaking off the big run, and the OC is going to give him the ball some more. Dropping back, it's Mertz. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Gators! The defense just lost track of him. There's no other explanation. I've got to assume they knew he was in an eligible position. Or it was just ridiculously good scheming on the offense, Reese. I mean, just an unbelievable job of getting your guy wide open. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. Grabbed over the middle, it's Thompson. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Got enough for the first down. A huge pickup on the play before he goes out of bounds, but the question is, will it stand? There is a penalty marker on the field. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. The offense set for a first down play. Out of the gun, the inside give. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31.
Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. The Dukes want to crank the tempo. Right back to him on the ground. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's got it. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And the Dukes are moving quickly down the field. Give to the running back. Sweet feet on the move. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Defensively, with all the space now and spread football, there's so many opportunities where it's one-on-one -on -one tackling, and it's really hard to do. It's hard to get guys to the ground that are so talented. That's why defenses have to swarm to the football, get multiple guys there. That's your best chance to not have broken tackles. Wide out in motion. From the gun, the running back has it. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Basic run plays. I don't, I don't need a bunch of complicated stuff sometimes. I just need to get the first down and get the sticks moving. The Dukes have it with a first and ten. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Hard running there. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Quarterback on the keeper. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. It must have been a brutal week for this defense preparing for this game because of all the different ways they can attack you and because of how athletic this quarterback is and how he can hurt you running the football. He just showed it to you right there. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Looking to throw, it's Morris. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Dukes have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. you got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Slams it ahead. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Duke! You want to keep your offense on the field? Wear down the defense? Put that tape on and show it in a clinic. That's the way it's done. And as a defense, man, there's nothing more demoralizing. You can handle it when you give up three, but to give up the touchdown at the end of a long drive, you're already exhausted. You've already been punked the whole way down the field. Man, that's frustrating. PAT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. So a drive there of 85 yards and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. 
Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. The handoff to Johnson. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. On the move, it's Mertz. Reels it in down the left side. All kinds of running room. Touchdown, Florida! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. And you can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put points up in electrifying fashion with an 82-yard toss for six. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. He'll start this drive firing. Catch in the middle. It's Ross. Makes the tackle at the 30 after he picked up 10. And on the slant route, I love the location of the throw by the quarterback. He's not making it difficult on his receiver. He's putting the football out in front, hitting his receiver right in the face mask and making it easy for him. The Duke headed quickly to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. He's going to take off. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Nice job by the QB. You can tell they want to push it down the field. They want to be aggressive on first down, which I love, which is really hard to stop from a defensive standpoint. But does a good job scrambling outside the pocket, picking up the first down, and then saving his life. Good job. Get out of bounds. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Back to throw. It's Morris. He makes the connection. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Late hit on the quarterback gives this offense a free first down and some yardage. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Knight. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Hudson. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands.
holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. From the gun, quickly complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Hudson. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And that was a really good job by the defense. Again, keeping everything in front of you in that situation. And now you're rewarded with the third and long. So on this down, we'll see if they bring some pressure or if they lay back and play zone. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. And he can't quite get it down or out of bounds. It's into the end zone for a touchback. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Fellas, you've had yourselves a great broadcast so far today in Harrisonburg. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that, let's head back to the guys at Bridge Fourth Stadium. The Gators will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. Some hand fighting at the point of the catch will draw the penalty, but this one is going to go against the offense. Looking to throw, it's Morris. He finds his man. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger gain. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. Complete with conviction on the crosser. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Dukes send out the punt unit. Running it back, it's Hawkins. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. 
And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Let's see what they do on third down. Scanning the field, it's Mertz. Looking down the middle. Wide open downfield. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw, and it cost his team. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Able to get one down to the 15. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops to throw. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. To the air, it's Morris. Throws to the wide out. A strike downfield. Speeding down the left side. And he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, James Madison. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. And if you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring.
On to attempt the try. And the extra point pulls them to within three, 24-21. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the run, it's Webb. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. So the officials spy that face mask penalty, and the offense gets a first down. Trying to impose their will with the run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. To the air. It's Mertz. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And the Gators come to the line with a new set of downs. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. There. Line getting set on second down. They'll run it from the gun. Bust through behind his pad. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. The Gators are on the move. Now from inside the red zone. Grabbed in the middle. It's Webb. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. How about the mix of play calls on this drive? Three runs, three passes, and now they're in business. And just keeping the defense completely off balance. When you think it's a run, it's a pass. When you think it's a pass, it's a run. Nice job by this offense going right down the field in six plays and now set up for first and goal. Quick hitting end around on first and goal. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Defensively, now you can tell I got to be ready for anything, right? If they're going to get the ball to fast guys on the perimeter like this, I better be ready for it. The defense is ready for it. It was, it was a good game. It wasn't a bad game. You didn't give up a touchdown. But now this makes me think, goodness gracious, they'll get the ball to anybody, any place, anywhere on the field. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counterpunch and attack this defense? Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Gator. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it.
Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense had them backed up, and then they're in the neutral zone, and the offense will say thank you very much. From the gun, give on the inside. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Back to pass, it's Morris. Got his man quickly. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell, he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive gain. On third and long, try to convert through the air. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Well, third and short, I think the offense was probably expecting blitz. That's why they dialed up the screen, but it did not fool the defense. Great job defending the screen, setting up fourth. The Dukes will try to pin them back with the punt. He'll bring it back. It's Hawkins. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Wide receiver now comes in motion. To the ground with the back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. They'll try the jet sweep here. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. They'll keep it on the ground. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Little over anxious out of the stands early, and it's a false start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third down, going up top. Pulls it in. It's Wilson. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out.
The Gators will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that is just a spectacular punt, and he will pin them in the shadow of their own goalpost inside the five. They'll give it to the back. Didn't find much room. He'll pick up a couple out to the five. And the Dukes moving quickly to the line. Looking for a man. It's Morris. He's got his man. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. From his end zone, trying to loosen up this D. Snagged in the middle. It's Ross. And he's brought down after a nice game. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Comes out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. The Dukes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give out of the gun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Well, jet sweep pass. Sweet cut there. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And listen, they didn't get the huge play off of that, but, but I love the ability to show that and be able to show plays off of that, that jet motion and just show them you're willing to complete it. But, you know, get those little chunks at a time. It doesn't have to always be a home run. That's still a successful play. Fast motion from the offense. They'll run for it on third and short. Got room at the 35. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Big catches, big plays. Tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Use the play fake now to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Good job on defense getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. Now the play fake. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He caught it! 
Gets it into the end zone, but there is a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Got a man, it's Edwards. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And it's right down the boulevard. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the run from inside his own five. Smashes through. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. From the gun, the ground game. At the 40, there he goes. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They're getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. They'll ride the hot hand. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They'll give him a couple. That leaves him with third and eight. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wants to throw. It's Mertz. Makes the grab on the left. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And the Gators are rolling down the field. Red pass, it's complete. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. The Gators will snap it on first and 10. Power football with the run. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Looking for a productive play on first down. He'll set up to throw. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. And here comes play number six of the drive. Motion from the offense. Little touch pass to the receiver. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. 
Well, in that down and distance, you're probably expecting them to throw it way down the field to get the first. Instead, they go push pass, and they did catch the defense off guard. And even though that was a big explosive play, David, they still didn't have enough yards to get it. Well, and catch me off guard is relative. That's what you would say, the offensive player. I would say, listen, we're playing a little bit deeper because we're not going to give up the first down. We react to the short stuff. And obviously, that's a quick, easy pass from the offense. Rally up, make the play, live to fight another down. And this offense continues to have success and just put a long drive together. And on this defense, I'm getting desperate now. It's desperation. I got to make a play. I got to force something to happen. I got to change something up, and I got to get this football back to my offense. He's got it and still on his feet. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. He caught it! Good throw and catch, takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Grab near the sticks. It's Hanson. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. Another touchdown for this guy, and he's starting to get in a groove the way Terry Dean did when he set the single game record with seven touchdowns. Another one. I mean, just putting up stats. This guy is fine in the end zone, and he can do it all. Just showing it off left and right. When you play in such a physical league like the SEC, but you got a guy like this that can get an extra first down and really keep those chains moving and score big plays and big touchdowns, good luck stopping him. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, oh, man, am I upset at my offensive line to give up penetration that fast? Man, we blinked and missed it. Hey, he barely got the ball. He just got destroyed immediately. What a great play. And the Dukes want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Goodness, that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire caused a wreck that had to be a blown assignment. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Getting some heat. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. In the situation we're in, down two possessions, they obviously had to go for that one. And because they're not able to come up with it, it looks like they're going to be leaving this stadium with an L. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Looking for space, it's Webb. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. 
If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Trying play action. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns, a 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision-making. We decided to go for it. We didn't get it, and the defense, Jesse, didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt. But look, this offense has been in these situations before. So you got to come back out here, take the field. It's a fresh set of downs, brand new drive. Let's go out and execute, put some points on the board. Pulls it and fires to the left. You know, at this point of the game, guys, trailing the way they are late in the game, check down throws are not going to get it done. You have got to be more aggressive in the passing game. You're going to have to just start taking shots. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Makes a connection. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And Jesse, he just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. Looking downfield, it's Morris. Throws to the wideout. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. Coming after it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Picked off. He goes down right there, but not before coming up with a big interception. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. The Gators sending the offense back to work. 
This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Picks up the first down, still moving. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. They'll leave it with him. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Leaves it with the back. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense has had no answer so far. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating him alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments and find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. 